So hey everyone, this is the Jonks Mark V Spitfire. It's had a few revisions, this is the fourth revision I think, since it was released a few months ago. Yeah, and the brakes gauge doesn't work, so we can't tell whether or not that's working. But, um, yeah, the throttle works, that's the important thing, I guess. Is that feathering? Either oh, mixture, mixture. Ah, oh, that's the throttle, that's the screw control. Oh, okay, good. That's good. So that's inside. Let's have a look from the outside. See what it looks like. So first impressions, looks a bit blocky. But it doesn't look too bad. Nice, can even see the radio wires there, that's really good. So that's uh, 8 out of 10 so far. Let's see if we can kill them darker. Now, I don't know if this is from the sim or the model. That's a bit strange. Or is this something to do with the glass? I'm, I'm guessing. So I can't turn the fuel on, which is a bit irritating. Engine starting, that's... Yeah, that's not how we say it in English. If I can't turn the fuel on, then how am I going to start the engine? A few moments later. Why can't I turn the fuel on? That's bizarre. So, um, control and E, that did work.
Okay, all controls seem to work fine. Let's check the old uh, flap. Uh, flaps, yeah. They work fine as well. I must admit, this is a nice little feature though, with the side window opening. The side panel opening, sorry. So you can get in and out pretty easily. I really do like that. Benson ground fire one request. Yeah, I mean, it's just looking out over that wing. And the way we just looked out over the wing of, say, the even the Spitfire by by the Flight Sim Squad. And uh, comparing the Flight Sim Squad Spitfire to Mr. Carrick's Spitfire, they're both fairly, fairly similar sort of levels of detail and realism. This just has something missing. It's just looking out over that wing. And it looks less real than the background, and the background's not real, obviously. But this is just there's just something not quite. I think it's maybe because it's not reflective at all. It's really matte, and the perspective is fixed, almost like perspective's been drawn in rather than being real. It's like this thing here, for example, is that I think there's some sort of fin on the wing. Because it's only drawn on, it, it just looks flat. Because it's, yeah, not. And the gap here in the in the aileron, and the way it doesn't quite fit right at the back. And I mean, they're not nothing bad about it. It's just, yeah, that's why I keep only giving it, you know, low marks. But it's a shame. That plus this weird texture thing going on there. Anyway, let's get her up in the air and see if it works okay. There's just something about the flight model that's not quite right. So I'm going to have to give that 6 out of 10. No, 7 out, 7 out of 10, I guess, yeah. 7 out of 10, it wasn't that wrong. I mean, it could have been me being my bad flying as usual. I do like crashing these little tail riders. 